In most finite element analyses, when the mesh is more fine, the result becomes more precise. But the question is, how much refinement is enough? This usually requires experience and engineering judgment. However, the mechanical application has a convergence tool which can help with this question. So now, as we can see, there's a bit of air in this region. So we don't know how much to refine this, so we're going to use a convergence tool in order to let ANSYS automatically adjust the mesh accordingly. So what we're going to do is add a convergence to this area where there's high air. So let's right click on solution, insert and insert a stress, equivalent von Mises stress, and this time let's select the surface filter and click on the surface over here, click on all bodies and then hit apply. Now let's solve for the stress, right clicking on it and clicking on evaluate all results. And now we see that this region has a maximum stress of 31 megapascals. So to insert convergence, we can right click on it, insert, and click on convergence. Now here it shows you the convergence history worksheet, which is currently showing the maximum stress versus the solution number. On the left here, we can change the criteria for the convergence by entering a maximum percent change in results. So what this means is ANSYS will refine the mesh and then compare the new maximum stress to the previous one. If the percent change is less than the specified value, the solver will stop and the solution will have converged. Now the default value is 20%, but let's be slightly more severe and change this to 10 and hit enter. Now if we try to solve this, we see that we get a workbench error which says convergence is not supported for meshes generated using multi-zone methods. So what we can do is we can go into the mesh, change the multi-zone to automatic method, and go ahead and right click and regenerate this mesh. Now we can see the bolt heads are fairly coarse, so let's go into body sizing and let's add these bolt heads to the body sizing by clicking on the geometry here, holding control and adding these heads and then clicking on apply, then right clicking on the mesh and clicking on generate again. And now we're ready to right click and solve for the solution. Now this could take over 10 minutes to solve depending on the speed of your computer, so I'm going to fast forward this for the sake of the tutorial. So now we can see a little green check mark here, which means the convergence has been solved. Now if we click on it, we can see the convergence history, and it took two iterations, and the change in stress went from 32 to 35 megapascals, and it nearly doubled the amount of elements, and the percent change was below our allowed change of 10%, and it was 9%. Now if we click on the equivalent stress, we can see here that the mesh has been refined, and we can have a global view of it by clicking on this one over here. Now we can see that this area has been automatically refined using the convergence tool. Now if we check our structural error, we can see that we have now eliminated the error in this region from before. Now let's say you want to add all of these results to a report, and you want to include different types of views, let's say for the equivalent stress, the total deformation, and safety factors. You can go and click on, let's say, the equivalent stress, rotate it to your liking, and then clicking on this button here called New Figure or Image, and then you can click on Figure. Next, you can even add a text caption to this, and you can call this Equivalent Stress. And now this figure will be included in the report. So if I click on Equivalent Stress here and move it around, and then click on Figure, we can see that it goes back to exactly how we positioned it as before. And let's say we want to do the same thing for the total deformation, and then click on New Figure, insert a new figure, and add text, call it Total Deformation. And let's say for the safety factor, we want to remove the elements and show no wireframe. And we want to change the scale a little bit by dragging this. Rotate it to your liking. And then we can click on Insert New Figure once again. And then here in the text, we can type in Safety Factor. And then at the end, once you have all your figures, you can go and click on this button here called Report Preview. So let's click on it right now. And now it says that the report generation is in progress. So we'll just wait a little bit. And there you have your report. So it creates a full report with all the model information, the mesh information, the material data used, etc. And if we scroll down, we can see that we have our convergence plot over here. And we also have the figures here that we've inserted manually. Now to print the report, you have a few options. You can send it by email, you can print it to your printer, or you can even publish it by clicking on this publish button. So that concludes the fourth part of this course. Next, let's see how we can refine the model even further using parameters.